The Straits Times is an English-language daily broadsheet newspaper based in Singapore currently owned by Singapore Press Holdings. Singapore Press Holdings claims that the print and digital editions of the newspaper the Straits Times and the Sunday Times have a daily average circulation of 383,600. It was established on the 15th of July 1845 as the Straits Times and Singapore Journal of Commerce. There are specific Myanmar and Brunei editions published with a newsprint circulation of 5,000 and 2,500 respectively. History The Straits Times was started by an Armenian, Kachik Moses. Moses's friend, Martiros Apkar, had intended to start a local paper, but met with financial difficulties. To fulfill his friend's dream, Moses took over and appointed Robert Carr Woods as editor. On 15 July 1845, the Straits Times was launched as an eight page weekly, published at Seven Commercial Square using a hand operated press. The subscription fee then was SP, $1.75 per month. In September 1846, he sold the paper to Robert Woods because the press proved unprofitable to run. On 20 February 1942, five days after the British had surrendered to the Japanese, the Straits Times became known as the Shonen Times and the Sionin Shimbun. This name change lasted until 5 September 1945, when Singapore returned to British rule. During the early days of Singaporean self governance, the paper had an uneasy relationship with some politicians, including the leaders of the People's Action Party. Editors were warned that any reportage that may threaten the merger between the Malayan Federation and Singapore may result in subversion charges, and that they may be detained without trial under the Preservation of Public Security Ordinance Act. Topic. Coverage The Straits Times functions with 16 bureaus and special correspondents in major cities worldwide. The paper has five sections, the main section consists of Asian and international news, with sub-sections of columns and editorials and the forum page letters to the press. The home section consists of local news and topics on education for Monday, mind and body for Tuesday, digital for Wednesday, community for Thursday and science for Friday. There are also a sports and finance section, a classified ads and job listings section and a lifestyle, style, entertainment and the arts section titled, Life. The newspaper also publishes special editions for primary and secondary schools in Singapore. The primary school version contains a special pull-out, titled, Little Red Dot, and the secondary school version contains a pull-out titled, In. A separate edition The Sunday Times is published on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Sale in Malaysia Owing to political sensitivities, The Straits Times is not sold in neighbouring Malaysia, and the Malaysian newspaper New Straits Times is not sold in Singapore. The ban was imposed before independence in Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> International editions A specific Myanmar and Brunei edition of this paper was launched on 25 March 2014 and 30 October 2014. It is published daily with local newspaper printers on license with SPH. This paper is distributed on ministries, businesses, major hotels, airlines, bookshops and supermarkets on major cities and target sales to local and foreign businessmen in both countries. Circulation of the Myanmar edition currently stands at 5,000 and 2,500 for the Brunei edition. The Brunei edition is currently sold at $1 per copy and an all-in-one Straits Times package consisting of the print edition and full digital access via online, tablets and smartphones, will also be introduced in Brunei. <laughs> Straits Times Online Launched on 1 January 1994, the Straits Times website was free of charge and granted access to all the sections and articles found in the print edition. On 1 January 2005, the online version began requiring registration and after a short period became a paid access only site. Currently, only people who subscribe to the online edition can read all the articles on the internet, including the frequently updated, latest news 
Section. A free section, featuring a selection of news stories, is currently available at the site. Regular podcast, vodcast and twice daily. Midday and evening updates. Radio news bulletins are also available for free online. Community programs The Straits Times School Pocket Money Fund The Straits Times School Pocket Money Fund was initiated on October 1, 1993 by the Straits Times, to heighten public awareness of the plight of children from low-income families who were attending school without proper breakfast, or pocket money to sustain their day in school. The aim is to alleviate the financial burden faced by parents in providing for their children's education. At the same time the funds will help children who are already facing difficulties in remaining in school to stay on. The Straits Times Media Club The Straits Times Media Club is a youth program to encourage youth readership and interest in news and current affairs. Schools will have to subscribe for at least 500 copies, and will receive their papers every Monday. A youth newspaper, IN, is slotted in together with the main paper for the students. <laughs> <laughs> Government interference The newspaper is sometimes referred as the mouthpiece of the ruling party or at least mostly pro-government and close to the government. Chua Chin Hun, then ST's bureau chief for the United States, was quoted as saying that SPH's editors have all been groomed as pro-government supporters and are careful to ensure that reporting of local events adheres closely to the official line in a 2009 U.S. diplomatic cable leaked by WikiLeaks. Past chairpersons of Singapore Press Holdings have been civil or public servants. Current SPH Chairman Lee Boon Yang is a former PAP cabinet minister who took over from Tony Tan, former Deputy Prime Minister. Many current street management and senior editors have close links to the government as well. SPH CEO Alan Chan was a former top civil servant and principal private secretary of then Senior Minister Lee Kuan Yew. Current editor-in-chief Warren Fernandez was considered as a PAP candidate for the 2006 elections. In his memoir Ob Markers, My Straits Times Story, former editor-in-chief Chung Yip Sang recounts how, since 1986, there has been a government-appointed monitor at the newspaper. Someone who could watch to see if indeed the newsroom was beyond control. And that disapproval of the monitor could cost a reporter or editor their job. Chung identifies the first monitor as S. R. Nathan, director of the Ministry of Defense's Security and Intelligence Division and later President of Singapore. Editors were bound by out-of-bounds markers to denote what topics are permissible for public discussion, resulting in self-censorship. Criticisms <coughs> 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 The Straits Times has also been criticized by netizens for sloppy and biased reporting. For instance, the newspaper repeatedly interviewed a commuter named Ashley Wu on eight occasions within a span of ten months, whenever the trains broke down, rather than getting fresh viewpoints from different affected commuters. The newspaper is also known to modify and insert additional lines to op-ed contributors' works, altering the tone and message of the articles, without notifying them in advance. Misconduct of editors and attempted suicide of an intern Disciplinary actions were taken against two senior news editors, Mark Lim and Daryl Chin for abusing their positions to get into relationships with an intern under their supervision. The intern attempted suicide after her boyfriend confronted her on the alleged affair. According to SPH spokesperson, one editor will be demoted and redeployed while the other will be given a written warning, have his salary docked, and redeployed. See also Singapore Press Holdings Media of Singapore Media censorship in Singapore List of newspapers in Singapore <laughs>